Hey everybody, it's me, old Crank Man here today, and today I'm very excited because we got two special vacuum cleaners today. I'm not gonna show the other one because uh, it's special to me because it seems rare. But anyway, I'm gonna go to this one first. We got a Hoover convertible vacuum cleaner. I don't know if the handle is supposed to be bent back like that, as you see. Um, sadly, you can see. The cord is chipped, or I should say, ripped off completely, so you, so it's non-functional, the vacuum. But that's okay. I can always get a pigtail for it. This is what the front of the vacuum looks like. And let's turn it over. This is what the bottom looks like. Here, it's upside down. Hold on. Here's the bottom. It's it's model U4379. So if you guys know what year this Hoover convertible is, let me know. Zero number zero 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 one six six two four. Has five and a half amps. Bag is pretty full. How's the zipper looking? We're not going to have any problems with the zipper, are we? Um, I don't think this one has a zipper unless it's on the bottom, which it is. Which is highly disgusting. I'm not going to worry about this, but like I said, this is a, I already forgot, is it a U4379? I'm pretty sure. Let me double check one more time. I wish I could use this and I'd show you it runs, which I... Pretty sure it does, but with the broken cord, it doesn't. So, yeah, you can see. I'm sorry for being out of slant, it's just my tab's gonna go upside down. You can see right here, model U4379. So, if anybody knows what year my Hoover convertible U4379 is, I'd be appreciated of this vacuum. So, Welcome to the collection, Hoover Convertible. So here's my next vacuum I got. It's called a VitaVac. It seems pretty rare. This one actually does run, so it's functional. Um, you can see it has a power nozzle on it. Has the canister part thing to it. And, um, yeah. This vacuum runs great. Anybody knows the rarity of this one, let me know. My guess is very rare or rare because I've never heard of VitaVac ever in my life. So, let's use the power nozzle first on this vacuum. Not sure what the year is on this machine, but it seems pretty rare. So, this is similar to my Hoover convertible. Not my Hoover convertible, sorry. My Hoover Celebrity 2 Powermatic from 1975, this is similar. Where you had to, here, hold on. Where you had to do this. Where you had to plug this in, like this, into the side. Make sure it's in. Yep. And then you have to put the hose in through this little hole. I'm going to put the tablet down because it's hard for me to do this. Okay, the hose is in. So I'm going to fire this vacuum up. What a mess. I'll pause it, the video in a minute, so hold on, I'll see you guys in a minute, hold on. Okay, my vacuum's ready to go, and here we go. Hold on, I'm gonna, alright, never mind. Look at those marks, it's beautiful. Now 
now let's use the hose attachment. That performed well. You can hear the power nozzle or power head, whatever you want to call it, works fine. So let's try the hose. Here we go. Hold on, I forgot to plug the hose in. I'm a dumb dumb. Now we can move along. So this is a Vita back by Vita Mix, and this is the Vita Vac Rogue Genie power nozzle. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video of me with this vac in the Hoover convertible U4379. Let me know what year that Hoover convertible is, and my Vita Vac. Let me know the rarity of this Vita back because I've never seen it before. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll make a video tomorrow of my Vita back with a power nozzle cleaning uh, the main floor. And yeah, see you guys later.